some numbers are given here. We have to read the number and write it in words. Can you read the first number, Starry? Yes, it is 13. 13 is written in words as T H I R T E E N. Next number is 9. It is written as N I N E. Starry, the next number is 17. Come on now, you write it in words. Yes, it is written as S E V E N T E E N. What about the next number? The next number is 24. 24 is written in words as T W E N T Y. 20. F O U R. 4. Here is one more number starry. It is 12. Can you write it in words? Yes, 12 is written as T W E L V E. Let us solve the next example. We have to fill in the empty boxes with number names or numerals. The number 10 is written in words as T E N. Number 22 is written as T W E N T Y. T W O. What about 15 starry? Yes, it is written as F I F T E E. N. Hey, look here. The number is given in words. It is S E V E N. That is 7. So write 7 in the empty box. The number 18 is written as 1 8. That is 18. Starry, that was easy, wasn't it? Let us now learn how to write numbers using ones and tens. Look here, Starry. A group of dolls is drawn here. Let us count how many dolls are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A group of ten dolls is written as one group of ten. Did you understand, Starry? Okay. Now look at the group of beads kept here. How many groups of 10 beads are there? Yes, there are 3 groups of 10 beads. Are there more beads, Starry? Yes, there are 4 extra beads. So, Starry, 3 groups of 10 beads make 3 tens. Four extra beads are written as four ones. Three tens and four ones make the number thirty-four. Let's look at one more example. Here are 
a few groups of chocolates. Let us count the number of groups of 10 chocolates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 groups of 10 chocolates. So we write it as 5 tens. The 6th group has only 6 chocolates. It is written as 6 ones. Which number does 5 tens and 6 ones make? Yes, Starry. 5 tens and 6 ones make the number 56.